One update that has been made to the blog is that you can now add a slideshow to the background. The difference between the slideshow background and a slider is that the block slider moves the entire block with new content for each slide. But here, in this example, you can see the content become you today and the contact us now stays the same. The only part that is changing is the background, and that is the background slideshow. Let's have a look at how you implement that. Hi and welcome to Brizzy. My name is JP and I hope you had a lovely day. Let's talk about this background slideshow. Here is the block and I've already put the content in there. Now, how do we bring in that slideshow for the background? Usually when you make a block slider, you go to the settings in the top right corner all the way to the left and you will see here we have the option, make it a slider. Uh-uh, that's not where we go. For this one, you go to the image area where the background is and you know that we have the usual background, video as well as a map. And now you will see this new little icon there. That is where the slideshow magic happens. Click on it and then we go to slides. Click on the slides option and then from your media library, just select the slides that you want to add. And I'll choose these four and I'll click on select. Just like with the gallery element, you can grab the thumbnails here of these images and drag them in the order you want. And now you can make a few changes here. It's set to transition type fade, but you have slide left that gives you a slideshow. Reduce the transition. You can add a Ken Burns effect, and then you have other options like the infinite loop. You can switch on or off, and then the delay. One important thing is that you cannot set the focal point on a slide or image by image basis. So here you will see the position. You will need to choose where it's going to focus for all your slides. Because I'm working with faces and most of them are at the top, I'll set them to top center. Another important thing to note is that the slide animation will not happen within the builder. You will have to check that on the front end. Let's update Control S, Command S, and then we preview on the front Control Shift P, Command Shift P. Scroll to where our slideshow background is. And within two seconds, you have that nice slideshow. Other options that you have for the transition type is you have slide left, slide right, up, down, and then fade. Great way to put a little bit of animation and I can really see this work on engagement and wedding sites where photos become prominent to that website and you want to save some space, don't want to have all these images on the website and then putting that in a slideshow background. To stay up to date on the world of Brizzy, remember to subscribe. Also give this video a like because like is good. Be kind. I'll see you in the next video.